Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's Mercury Marine My Boat feature. Quite a few years, underwater lighting has been very popular with saltwater boaters, but more and more freshwater cruisers are turning to underwater lights for not only their appearance, but for their safety factor. So this week on My Boat, we're going to be working with Ken Shires of Bayport Yachting Center to install a set of Lumatech LED underwater lights. So Ken, what's involved in the project? Well, these lights are pretty, pretty easy to install now. We just have to make some calculations where we're going to place the lights, remove some anti-fouling paint, drill some holes, seal them up properly, make the electrical connections on the inside, and we're good to go. Okay, well, let's get started. Positions were selected for three lights on each side of the stern thruster. When establishing the individual locations, the light should be from 8 to 24 inches below the waterline. With all the locations selected, an orbital sander with coarse paper was used to remove the anti-fouling paint from each LED light's location. This is done to ensure that dissimilar metals in the paint do not react with the aluminum light casings. Next, the center position for each LED light was marked and the supplied template was taped in place. With the template in place, a pilot hole was drilled for the power cord then the required half-inch hole was drilled. With all six completed, the next task was to start installing the lights by first feeding the power cord through the transom and setting the light in place. Next, insulating mounting bushings were slipped into the mounting holes on the light and holes for number 10 screws were drilled. After this was completed for each LED light, a generous amount of marine below the waterline sealant was applied to the mounting holes around the cable and on the back of the housing. Once pressed into place, the insulators were popped in and each light was secured to the hull with the supplied stainless screws. After the excess sealant was removed, each of the lights were taped off in preparation for reapplying anti-fouling paint. Finally, an anti-fouling paint compatible with aluminum was applied over the exposed gel coat around each LED light. Accessing the inside of the transom through the lazarette, extension cables were connected to each of the light's power cords with barrel connectors. In turn, each power cable was stripped back and marine grade ring terminals were crimped on. These were connected to a DC bus bar that was installed then a power cable was fed through to the aft end of the salon. In the salon, a 12-volt cable was fed from a spare breaker on the DC electrical panel, and this fused power supply was connected to a spare rocker switch along with the feed to the bus bar and the LED lights. And of course, they worked without fault. The real show had to wait until the Bayliner 5788 was back on the water and we were able to take her out onto Midland Bay. As darkness settled in over the calm waters, the light show from beneath was awesome with white, blue and combined light patterns. Well, that wraps up another My Boat project. Not only do these underwater lights look fantastic, but it also provides for safer nighttime boarding.